course, your association has members from 32 industry groups. What are you hearing from your members? What are they telling us about business uh, cost-cutting measures, especially when it comes to jobs? Good morning. Um, so first of all, you know, um, yes, our, our members, you know, who is a major in the manufacturing industries, you know, so most of them, they are, they are, they headquarter their, their manufacturing bases in, uh, in Pearl River Delta, you know, near Hong Kong. And a small portion, they are in Hong Kong, you know. So uh, let's look at the, uh, the, uh, the, the factories from the China side, you know, because of their export market has been uh, uh, almost stopped, you know, so, uh, so a lot of them, they face uh, the order cancelling, uh, they, they delay the order, sometimes they even uh, delay the payment, you know. So a lot of the manufacturers, you know, they are facing a, a very tough situation. You know, they are running out of cash, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and employment in a way, you know, for, for example, workers, you know, so, so, the, so those workers in China, you know, they, they have to uh, uh, lay off part of the workers, you know, in order to uh, cope with the, uh, the schedules, you know, things like that, you know. So temporary, you know, I mean, for the short term, you know, it looks quite, uh, quite gloomy, you know, right, for the export market. But on the other hand, you know, the, uh, the local Chinese market are, are picking up, you know, so, so that is uh, making up some of the losses, you know. So, uh, so temporary, you know, it's a, it's a tough situation. So the infections in Hong Kong have gone down significantly. What does this mean for your members? Are they fully operational at this point? And what are some of the big problems that they're still facing other than, as you mentioned, demand? Okay, all right. Um, well, I mean, th those manufacturers, you know, they, even though they're based in China, you know, they, they still have a very, very big operation, you know, a sizable operation in Hong Kong, you know. So, and also some of the uh, supporting industries like uh, logistics, bank and finance, you know, like uh, uh, some of the uh, supporting industries, you know. So in general, you know, um, all the industry, you know, because of the export business is... Uh, slowing down, you know, and, uh, and also the recent social activities, you know, so also affect the business uh, atmosphere, you know. So the current situation in Hong Kong, you know, um, we are struggling, you know, but, but having said that, you know, I, I think things are improving, you know, and we see some, uh, some light is coming, you know, like end of the tunnel, you know, so, uh, and, and luckily, and fortunately, you know, Hong Kong government has been reacting quite positively to all these problems, you know. So they have been giving out a lot of uh, uh, subsidies, you know, uh, short-term loans, you know, to help to help companies, you know. Although we are in a difficult situation, you know, but uh, uh, short-term, you know, we have uh, uh, receiving some uh, different types of helps from the government. I think that will alleviate the problem uh, slightly. Daniel, where do you see yeah. the biggest pressure sector-wise? Uh, I mean, I mean... Obviously, at this moment, you know, the, um, those areas in the tourist uh, exhibition, you know, and, uh, and all these uh, local uh, restaurants, you know, are those are in the biggest risk. On the manufacturing side, you know, so, um, so those people in the apparel, you know, footwear, uh, those businesses are, are facing a very difficult time, you know, because uh, once they miss the season, let's say now is the summertime, you know, and then they are making swimming trumps and they are making hacks you know, sunglasses, so they will miss the season, you know. But on, on the other hand, some of the industries like uh, electrical products, electronic products, computer products, like, uh, uh, like uh, genetics products, they are having quite a, a reasonable business, you know. So, so, so yeah, some industry is suffering. Some industry is, is doing okay, you know. What more can companies in Hong Kong do to, I guess, promote this idea of resilience? Because we know that after COVID-19, the economic recovery is still likely to be quite prolonged and painful. Oh, OK. So if you're talking about the manufacturing side, you know, so uh, uh, the reason uh, the, uh, many people talk about decoupling, you know, or, 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 or deglobalization, you know. But, uh, but for some of the Hong Kong manufacturers, in, in which is mostly in China, you know, I, I think they can see the past 18 months with the trade dispute with uh, China and America, and also the increasing labor costs in China. You know, so I think a lot of uh, several types of industry they are already uh, done their relocation 
uh, of the manufacturing base from China to some other part of uh, Asia, you know. And I mean, I mean, very recently, you know, I mean, the uh, the dispute is accelerating, you know, uh, and uh, escalating, you know. I think the more industries are considering to uh, to have a second uh, manufacturing base outside of China, you know. So, I mean, for the Hong Kong manufacturers, you know, I, I don't think they are not standing still, you know. Uh, I think they will rethink about their the market strategies. They will think about their uh, marketing tools. You know, like uh, before was uh, mainly exhibition and traveling overseas. So now they may be thinking about more about the virtual exhibition. You know? So, so I, I think they will think a new way of running the business you know, in the future.